Hello, everybody. Paul Y. Rostec, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing. Giving everybody a few minutes to come on with a little chilling, channeling music. It's free for all Friday. That means I'm opening up a topic and that any you have any of you in the chat, I'm going to ask you a question. If I can get to it, I'll answer it. So I have a few topics that I will be talking about tonight. And uh, anyone that's joined here before, I thank you. Thank you for sharing, following me on uh Facebook and subscribing to my YouTube channel for all the updated information. Uh, thank you to all the new people uh, as well. I have some incredible information about what I've been experiencing with, uh, with this Holy Clips energy that's been happening. And it's Friday. The hell is the date? July 20th already. And I had a bunch of clients today. And it's a beautiful opportunity to be able to see uh, what's going on worldwide with people and how what we go through, it comes in waves. So we all seem to be, all the light workers seem to be on this same sh shifting, okay? Donna, what's up, Caleb, Matt, Robin, Anna, Lisa, Jennifer, Donna. Love to all of you. You know, this is the way, this is the way I could explain it. Um, during the healing sessions with clients today, explaining the ascension process is like, walking to the edge of a cliff and there's a rope. Yes, a selenite rope. And we have to go against our instincts and the ego and the super ego that tells us that's wrong. Don't do that. You can die. Stay here on the cliff where it's safe. or drop all of the baggage and luggage from the past that you can't take with you across this rope. Because it's too heavy. And where you're going, you won't need that backpack full of junk. And where you're going is a much better place than where you are now. But then the ego kicks in and says, don't do it. People will judge you. Okay? All these doubts and fears, and a lot of people can turn away. But when you climb down, and when you grab onto that rope, you can't just reach all the way to the other side. You have to kind of shimmy. So it's this give and take, all right? And this is how the ascension process works. Sandra, Angela, thank you, Tom. I love you guys too. When we are on our ascension process, okay, a lot of us awaken and, and feel that we are just there, right? Like, we did it. We're awakened. And then we run into this resistance. And this is that shuffle that I'm talking about. So we're going, we're entering from one phase of life, an old energy, into a higher energy. So a lot of the stuff we can't take with us. So we trim it right down to our bare self and the essentials. And then as we're 
as we're growing, we're releasing. So we're seeing the roadblock. What's up, Natalie? We've reached the roadblock. We recognize it. We shift. We adjust. We release. Right? Grab on. So it's, it's this shimmy. So this path is a path. It's a healing path. It's a healing journey. And a lot of times we, we're surprised that we have a lot more to work on than, than we've experienced before. And uh, the, during this period of eclipse time, this is a massive transformation. So this is where all that shimmying energy led up to. So it's getting to the other side, okay? You know those turnstiles at like concerts? You give them the ticket and you're gonna walk through that thing or at airports, click, click, and then it comes up and hits you in the back. That's how I see the eclipse energy. Uh, it's an actual transition point. So we're going backwards and then we hit it, we flip over and, oh, okay, we're right side up now. And then we go along on our healing path. We are all going, so, and I explained it to another client earlier today that it's like we're all walking in a pack through the wilderness and everything's great because we're, we're, we have a pack, we're together, okay? And then it's, yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do that and I'll wrestle that bear and I'll, I'll uh, survive through the winter nights and everything. And then we split up from the pack on our own and it's like this, hello, hello, <laughs> you know, it gets real. This is what I feel that a lot of people are going to, right? Stepping out of our comfort zone. Angela Wright, stepping out of the comfort zone, we've been taught limits and fear. Just go for it. Our third eye imagination is the way out of this mess. You know, trust. Trust. We are all walking the path now. It's scary, isn't it? Pretty much almost every one of my clients that I channel for is going through the same theme. There is massive changes in their life. Moving house, moving jobs, relationships, releasing relationships, new relationships, abilities. How many people's abilities is, are going through the roof right now? I mentioned on my last little video that there's portals open, and one of the portals, my nose is so itchy. One of my, one of, one of the portals I, I said is like the size of Texas, and that's like an understatement. And then there's all, there's all these other portals that are going on. So there's portals within portals within portals. Now, these aren't necessarily negative. Like a lot of people, when they hear the word portals, they're thinking like, whoa, right, really bad. A lot of these portals are opening up to build on the healing grid, okay? And we're going through our own portals, our own trans transmutations and transportations into a higher vibration and higher realms, a higher being of ourselves. And it's, it's a time to really kind of face the music. It's a time to grow up. A lot of us are kind of like a seeing a truth within ourselves or seeing weaknesses within ourselves or seeing the ceilings that we are at. We're hitting our heads on the ceiling, wondering why we can't go any farther. Reaching back, going back, going inward and asking and listening to yourself, listening to your higher self of what, what's, what's going on with me? What's the real me? What's transitioning within me? And what truths am I ignoring? What things are welling up with you people that you've been ignoring your whole life, but you can't ignore anymore, but you're still trying to ignore? The discomfort, the discomfort and hell and pain of life is the resistance of change. 
So how much pain are you going to put yourself through? Let go and release? Or grab onto the rocks on the bottom and the brush on the side of the river and get all scratched up and banged up? Either way, you're going down river. Okay. Thank you, everybody that is here. Surrender is right. That's a key word right now, surrender. That's right. Being comfortable, being uncomfortable. New stuff developing, Kelly says. We're all going through this together. Like, this is the shit that's happening. I mean, like, this is it. This is the biggest shift of our lifetime. Now, when I see portals open, I see the light of all the energy that's coming in. I also see the, the darkness that surfaces from the opening of this light. So this is what a lot of people are going through. There's a lot of uh, blocks that are surfacing. There's a lot of that junk. There's a lot of that resistance to move forward. Remember, the, the, the pain is, is, the, is the resistance, is resisting, right? When we're resisting, it's the pain of resisting the resistance, resisting facing the resistance, <laughs> right? So... It's accepting. First thing is accepting. Accepting. Releasing of denial. And saying, okay, I have to face this. I have to face this thing. Surrender. And walk through it. Everybody's facing their own gates. Lion's gates right now. And everybody has their own level of fear, whether it's a physical ailment, um, uh, internal or external blocks or fears or uh, roadblocks and all these things. We all, we all are starting to know what it is and what we need to do. Whatever the shift you're going through, it is so much easier to face the flow, okay? When you're facing, when you're going down the rapids down a river, it's easier to steer, to steer, to steer it than it is to try to turn around and go sideways or go the other way where you'll end up flipping over. So it's like face it and just do a little work, right? Surf in this wave because it's carrying you to a place beyond anything you could possibly imagine. It's bring, bringing you to a place of health, of love, of light, of prosperity, of peace, of what you deserve. You're not going through what you're going through as a punishment. You're going through what you're going through because it's the only way to get what you want, what you truly want, what your true path is. This portal that we're all kind of going through is an opportunity. It's when... It's like a finish line up to a point. So imagine your entire life till now, you get to this finish point and it's like, okay, wherever everybody's at is where everybody's at, but exam's over. Shut the, shut the folders, hit. And now Universal One is gonna pick you up and take you to your next place. This shift is a shift because the ascension coming into this planet is so fast that we can't go through this fast enough without external assistance. Make sense? The ascension is coming in faster than the low dense vibration energy is being released because it's low and dense energy. So there's this intervention of light going on. There's also there's also the, it's the energy of, okay, it takes way too long to go all the way around where you're going. You don't have enough time to go through there. 
So we're going to bend space and time and poke a hole in it and just pull you right through this little bit of a distance. You know, it's like sailing ships. They used to go all the way around the country until they cut a little hole in the land and they realize, oh, we just have to go right there. That's what's happening. I couldn't put it a better way. Somebody asked about the portal. Where's the portal? The portal is in the friggin' sky. And it is gigantic. It's gigantic. And it's always moving. And it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Wait till the eclipse happens. When the eclipse happens, the entire universe, our entire skyline all the way around the earth will be the portal. Jamie says acceptance is the key. Yeah. Love. The ego wants to fight. The ego wants to kick. The ego wants to grab onto the walls of the portal. And like, <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers the cartoon Garfield, the cat. Like when the cat was being pulled away from its uh, desired position, the claws came out and it was like, <laughs> right? Down the portal of life. Vulnerable, isn't it? Very vulnerable. Exposed. Right? Exposed. You feel naked. Let it out. Let it all out. Penn Smith, beautiful as all group members here. We are healing together and we are healing together. When we join, you know, what did Jesus say? When, when, when you gather in, in my name, two or more, whatever that is, it really makes the connection. It really magnifies the whole thing. So that's why what we're all doing here. Moving on, letting it flow. There's tons of energy being released within people's homes, within people's energy fields. People are experiencing, uh, experiencing visions and dreams and having abilities open more than ever before. And, and uh, it could be really overwhelming. It could be really overwhelming. And, uh, and these are things that people have hidden their entire lives or run from or avoided, but now you can't run from it anymore. Okay, don't run. Open the heart chakra, open the heart center. Talk to your higher self every day and, and ask in universal oneness to show you your truth today. Just say, hey God, how many people? 159 watching right now. And this probably will go out to three, 4,000 views uh, in the next few days. And how many people watching this can honestly say, that they open their heart and say, thank you, universal oneness. Thank you for showing me my truth today, that I am here, that I am showing up to work today. I'm showing up, God. Show me my truth. I'm asking all of you right now, I'll, Take this challenge to take this challenge every day. And the more that you do it every day, the more you will receive. If you do it 10 times a day, how many of you are committed to say, what, I'm here, God, just show up. Call on the angels, call on the masters and say, show up. I'm here. Show me what I need to do. Do you know how much courage that takes? Somebody asked on the chat room, is there a hell? Well, there's a hell. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you what it is. A lot of people have said it in different ways. Hell 
is resisting the change. Hell is holding on to blame, shame, guilt, jealousy, envy, betrayal, abandonment. Hell is saying, no, I'm not going to forgive and let go. I'm going to hold on to this. Do you know how hard it is to show up to universal oneness naked and say universal oneness? I'm here. I'm willing. What's up, Tanya? From London. Do you know how many of your problems will disappear? If you can stand up and talk out loud, literally imagine yourself in a room of light with angels and masters and stand up and say, universal oneness, I'm here. You are God, so you have free will and free choice. That free will and free choice does not disappear when you die. So if you don't take care of this now, Guess what's going with you to the other side? That's hell. You came on this earth to walk through the dark, through the obstacles on your own two human feet with your own free will and free choice on your own fruition. That's why you came to the world. And then we come here and it's, it's so difficult. Carry me. Why have you abandoned me, God? Keep avoiding it all you want. God won't interfere. Why has God abandoned me and leaving me in this hell? God didn't abandon you. You abandoned God. That's hell. When you choose blame, shame, and guilt, and hate over love, and peace, and calm. Okay? If you're falling asleep while you're sitting by yourself, good, you're healing. You're healing. That's why I tell people, if you're tired, you got to adjust your entire schedule and love your body, love yourself enough to say, no, you know what? I'm tired. If you're sleeping for two days straight, sleep for two days straight. Right? Two days straight. Shauna writes, heaven and hell, here and now. The choice is yours. That's right, baby. It's a choice. It's a choice. And we're these little kids in adult bodies. And we were given choice? Shit. So 90% of the time out of 100, we're going to choose the wrong direction just because we can't handle the fact that we have free will and free choice. It's scary having all this free will and free choice. We can screw it up. How about stop pointing fingers everywhere else? And take responsibility that where you are in life is because of you. It's because of how you perceived everything that's happened to you. I love that question about hell. There's many different facets of hell. 
Hell isn't out there somewhere. Hell is not letting go of resisting of of the things that are holding you back. It's resisting change. And only way for this energy to leave us is feeling the pain. We're little kids. We don't want to feel the pain. We want to run from it. We want to hide. And then we become adults and then we get money and then we get opportunities. So then we can buy drugs and do all these other things like excess sex and partying and gambling and addictions and food and eating. We showed them. Fuckers. We tricked you. No, you're tricking yourself. Little kids with big toys. Little kids with adult toys. Coming back to where it derailed. How about using that excess money and putting it into your healing, putting it into your spirituality? When I first started with my healing sessions, my alcohol money, I made a choice. Do I want to use God's money, which a lot of say money's evil, money's not evil, humans made it evil. Money is from God. And when you take that money and you say, God, I'm not going to spend this on alcohol. I'm going to take the money that you've given me to survive, to flourish, and I'm gonna put that towards healing. It's a choice. Shimmy, are you willing to release over here in order to reach farther and grab on over here? Right? It's a choice. It doesn't mean that you're going to lose your edge. It doesn't mean that you're going to go without. It doesn't mean that life's going to suck. Your higher self, believe me, and I'm laughing because from where I come from to being a worldwide channeler of healing and spiritual teacher, if you guys knew me, in my heavy metal vocal days and drugs and you would not believe the full polarity change. And I'm laughing because if the old me was to hear me now, it's pretty fucking funny, sorry. But people don't like me swearing, sorry. It's a real world here. I promise you all this. The higher self thinks that you're going to lose. Your higher self thinks that you're going to miss out on something. I promise you that when you let go of the ego, when you stand up to God and say, you know what? You got me, fine, fine, fine. I'm coming to work today, God. Show me what I need to do. A lot of people are sitting and just waiting for the miracle, miracle to come. And, you're, and oh, I'll change when my life shifts. No. 
you have free will and free choice, young child in a human body. Pull up your, pull up your, your big boy pants, your big girl pants, change your diaper. Step up. You can do it. I believe in you. Universal Oneness believes in you. This is all about this portal change that's going on. Right? <clears throat> Angela, you're right. Money is a form of energy exchange. You know, anybody that has money issues, it's because your belief systems and what you were taught about money do not vibrate at the high frequency of money. Right? Robin writes, the negative energy attracts negative energy. It's simple. Okay? It's simple. It's so simple that it's extremely difficult to grasp. Like a lot of my students that I teach, because literally most of my clients are light workers. And a lot of people want to understand, um, I can't connect to my angels or my masters. And they're trying to look too far away. They're looking for these big things. And once you realize that all of everything is right there, you're just, you're just looking to, you're looking past the gentle, obvious answers. Thank you, Carol. My healing session with you are the reason I am quantum leaping my healing. It's, a re it's real. It's real. I watch it with everybody. Years and years of doing this, I'm watching their lives shift. Just step up. Step up. 144 right now, viewers. I just happened to look over and saw that. Downloads, when we see 144, that means we are literally receiving downloads and codes. So people are messaging me um, and they're talking about seeing codes, like literally in the air. When I see the energy in the air, okay, so I could see the energy, I could see how I am connected to the trees and to everything because it's like this white web of energy that kind of dips and goes like that, just like the web of energy between planets, okay? I have no friggin' idea what I was just talking about. Um, okay, so there's a whole bunch of energy shifting right now as we speak, so let me just center my energy. Um, people are receiving healing and purging right now, like massively. Okay. Thank you. So when we're seeing these downloads, when we're seeing these codes, when we're seeing this energy coming in, it's in the air. Okay, so people are actually seeing kaleidoscopy, energy, codes, maybe shifting of like geometric patterns. Okay, this is literally the energy that's going right through our being. And these codes, I'm explaining a bit about what downloads are. These codes activate the code in your DNA. Now, in your DNA is your higher self, is your Akashic Records. It's not out there somewhere. It's in the skin. Everything is in here. So when these codes... And when these downloads of light come in, 
there's an instant knowing. This light that's coming in, it's activating and awakening the sleeper energies within us. Are you willing to show up? Shannon asks, are your fingers tingly? I'll tell you what I've been noticing. I have had the tingles. I mean, I, 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 I feel all energy in all ways. What I've noticed is, and I, I'm wondering how many people have been experiencing this too. Sens sensitivities that you had when you were a child reawakening. Like for me, I could just think about it. I think I mentioned it on other videos. It's like, if I think of somebody scratching their nails on the chalkboard, I can literally, my body will react as if it's like I just heard it. I don't want to touch cardboard with my fingernails, cotton blankets. <laughs> it's so bad. Right? What this is, is part of this download energy. Okay, it's part of our tuning, it's part of our ascension. We're leaving a very physical and dense world where we have to croak and move muscles in our throat and blah, to communicate. But in the higher vibration energies, we don't have to move these muscles. It's telepathic. And then when you get to an even higher vibration, there's no telepathy because there's an instantaneous knowing. How's that? How many people grasp that? Right? I asked Universal Oneness something to tell everybody in a group. And I feel like everybody is on the edge of, uh, on the cusp of achieving financial stability, of achieving something that you've never dreamed of before, that your hard work is now paying off. It's right on the edge of paying off. So if you feel like giving up now, do not give up. Come back into your heart center and push forward because you do have the energy more than you think, okay? Reward, financial rewards. Uh, so literally more prosperity. Abilities, the rewards of healing, of accomplishment, of self-accomplishment. But don't get too comfortable with this first wave of accomplishment. Can I get an amen? Because I'm preaching here. <laughs> I'm tired. But in a good way. I'm feeling the energies between everybody here. I'm thanking Universal Oneness for bringing in this healing. Listen, I'm going to finish what I was about to say. I said it here. You have free will and free choice. I don't want to hear it if you don't listen. I don't want to hear it. I'm telling you now. If you're listening to this or you're sharing this and somebody listens to it later, it's the same thing. It's coming into their being. And the words that I speak hold vibration, truth, energy, and codes. And when that hits your soul and your Akashic records, it activates and you can't unknow. And this is where life can suck because now, well, I can still make the wrong choices, but I know it's wrong now. I'm telling you all now, when you get this shift that's coming, When you get this abundance, 
when you get what you've been praying for, when you get what you've been asking for, I don't want to hear it if you fall back in your old energy and you make the wrong choices and then you find yourself unprepared for what's to come next year. Step up. Step up. Show up. When you get that money, when you get the help that you've been asking for, do the right thing with it. Okay? Do the right thing with it. You know that thing with the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other? It's us going down the portal with that. Little kids in adult bodies with free will and free choice. What's scarier than that? Most of us were born in ego and horrible neglect and abuse and addiction and self-hate, self-judging and criticizing and jealousy and junk. And then we come into the world with the power of the devil or the power of an angel. I say this with pure love and light because God will never abandon you. Only you will make the choice to abandon your heart, your love. To find out who you really are is the biggest blessing that you're on this earth. And I promise you, universal oneness will never say, we're going to take away all your ego power and all this and not give it to you uh, a thousand times over. You want to experience blessings and you want to experience miracles. But you don't want to do anything about it. Can you give up a little bit? Can you take the masks off and show up to God? This is what this eclipse is about. We're all starting to feel a bit of relief from the sun going in Leo and the the the, the fiery energy of it. Of moving forward. Don't get all on your high horse again. And now that you're feeling good, you're jumping on the reins and you're whoop whoop whoop. You all know what I talk, what I'm talking about. Stay humble. Stay humble. When you get. When you get what you ask for, do the right thing with it, okay? Shannon writes, it's like no drug I've ever done, wow. I'll tell you what, every drug that's ever been put out there is an illusion to try to wow you and drain your energy and create the shiny shimmering illusions of, of light of your higher self. And once you connect with truth, it's a feeling that you'll never turn back from. It's, it's the real deal. The right thing, Star, is love. Love. The ego is not the devil, really. The energy of this, the devil energy could come through the ego and speak through the ego. But remember, the ego is a gorgeous vessel. We can't get rid of the ego. That's like cutting off your arm. The ego is a beautiful navigation source through ascension. 
Your higher self will never let you lose your edge. Okay? Are you going to step up today? Devil on one shoulder, angel on the other. Free will and free choice. If you make the wrong decision, God's not going to judge you. No, there's no judgment in universal oneness. You're just going to go buy the ticket, take the ride. Right? How many remember fear and loathing in Las Vegas? How many people have tripped on acid and watched that movie? Buy the ticket, take the ride. If you make the wrong, if you, if you, if you make the wrong decision and things go bad, don't go blaming and pointing fingers. Learn from it. Grow from it. Face it. Maybe there's people around you in your life that need to see you make the right decision in order to grow. What if you are their leader? What if you not living your truth is blocking other people, family from living their truth? Do you know how many people look up to you? Scary free will and free choice. Love is the key, and that's right. Love. 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 And love can sting the ego. It's like, you know, the movies where the vampires in the coffin are hanging like a a bat from the ceiling, and they open the window, and the light shines on it, and it's like... Climb out of the dark. You could stay there if you want. I mean, God doesn't care. I mean, it's free will and free choice. You have the choice to stay in hell. You have the choice to make the same stupid decisions. (laughs) I mean that with no judgment. I'm just saying. You know, when you keep coming back into the energy of love, it tames the fire. It parts the sea. It parts the flames that burn when you don't want to run through. Well, Paul, I don't want to run. I don't want to run through it because it hurts. Universal oneness or God, archangels, masters, your higher self will work with you. But you have to open your heart to love. This means surrendering. This means having breakdowns, emotional and mental breakdowns. Do you know why people have mental and emotional breakdowns? Because they're resisting the change. And it's scary. Sometimes we need to break down. The breakdowns, I'll tell you what the breakdown is. The breakdown is the heart shattering, is the illusions shattering. The pain is the resistance around the heart 
breaking. So when something happens externally in your life that's traumatic or that shakes you to the foundation, let that shattering and that devastation be the new, the new spark, right? Let it be the spark. Let it be the new platform that you stand on. We can't always heal until something outside happens to us. And then, only then, the boards and the chains and everything that we put up to protect ourselves, the pain is that breaking down. Because when we just go with the flow and we're always floating in the boat, in the heart center, not on the top of the mast, riding that ego horse. When we get down and we get in the boat, these things wouldn't affect us the way they do, right? The pain is resisting the change. But once we understand that change, it doesn't have to be zigzaggy, it can be a smooth river, then we won't be experiencing the devastation, right? We'll hurt, we'll go through our ups and downs, but we'll constantly be flowing. It'll be healthy, okay? There's a difference between pain and hurt. There's a difference between angry and disappointed. Ascended masters don't get angry. Guides don't get angry. They may get disappointed, but that love doesn't change because you didn't pick the right thing. A lot of people need to hear this. If you think your guides or your angels that, you, that you've let them down or that they're angry at you or that they're yelling at you, you're not hearing your guides and angels or masters. This is sobering energy, information for a lot of people. See, I said energy, right? And I said information. I humanized it by the word information. This English language is horrible, let me tell you. Because from where I come from, the telepathic instant communication, the word communication doesn't exist because it's instantaneous. We sure really have a really limited croaking language to express these high vibration words. This is why I lose track from time to time. It's like translating. <laughs> it's like translating Sanskrit hieroglyphics instantaneously that's right karen i mean yes it is source energy coming through you and it's yeah it's very nice and i said this for a lot of years too it's very nice to say you know what it is and it's true as part of it to where it's not us it's source energy coming through us but guess what you are that magnificent. Deal with it. The ego wants to say, no, it's not me. But yeah. And the more you get on your track, the more you get into your light, the more you climb into your truth and accept yourself and love yourself for all your messed upness. Messed upness, I said it deal with it. <laughs> I have to create my own words here. When you accept that, your vibration goes up even higher and higher, and you blend one into oneness. Our ascension is us coming into light, is the 
the masters and angels. We have masters, angels, and guides to guide us to our higher selves. Well, when we're on the path of our higher self, we might not hear our guides anymore. Why? Because we don't need to be guided to the light. Make sense? Transition, eclipse, coming up. Are you showing up? Coming to work today? <laughs> when I was in the tree business, my boss at the time, Mike, would say, like if you would see you're kind of slagging or you're, you're come, you know, everybody's drinking their morning coffee and they're all like, body beat and sore from the 10 hours of tree work carrying logs uphill literally for hours and in the 90 degree sun and wouldn't you be uh you'd say hey paul you coming to work today coming to work all right, everybody, I love you. I am out. I love you guys. Thank you for sharing the shit out of this. Um, we're all going through this together. So love and healing to everybody. Keep going. It's being in that heart center. When you're making the choices of good and bad, of right and wrong, come back into the heart. Come back into the truth. This could be some of the hardest choices of your life, and these are the most life-changing. The smallest change, the smallest decision can shift your entire lifetime. That's why they're so easily overlooked. Like that butterfly effect, like everything all adds up to one spot that all it takes is a butterfly to flap one wing and whoosh, it changes everything. One little decision, oh man, it's not easy having free will and free choice. Scary scary but you can do it you're okay you're always okay you're always uh, in the right place at the right time everything is always going to be okay come back into the heart come back into love there's no fear in love we can get wrapped up in health issues and health scares and all this other stuff but when we come back into the heart center and then take a look around, we see truth. So the more that you stay and you live through the heart center, the less painful the resistance it is. Okay. Love and healing to everybody. Say it with me. Let it be done. And so it is done. <laughs>